Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click that blue button right there. Click it! Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Welcome back to the channel. This is part two of making tartan ornaments. And it's part two because I started one, you know, a few yesterday and you might have seen that video and I made some cute little tartan ornaments. Well, today I have some frozen Charlottes that I picked up from Distress Donna. So she's got an Etsy store, Distress Donna. I don't know if these are on her Etsy site or not. She also watches the channel. But we're going to use our frozen Charlottes. Now, I think frozen Charlottes are not a Midwest thing. Because everybody I've talked to in the Midwest are like, what? <laughs> and to be honest, I these are the first frozen Charlottes I ever laid my hands on. Now, I'd heard of them, but I didn't really... We don't have them. I've never seen one. We don't have them here. And it's a story about a young girl who froze to death in a sleigh because she refused to put a coat over her pretty dress. So I think it's just like this morality tale of, you know, don't be vain in the wintertime. Which you think in Minnesota, it'd be a story, right? No. Nope. Um, so I've got my little frozen Charlotte dolls and I got three of them and they're, you know, in various shapes, shapes of disrepair. This one's got no legs and no arms and She's missing a foot and it didn't matter because we're going to do some embellishment. We're going to make them cute. I even made a crown for my Charlotte. So I took a piece of lace and glued it together. Then I used Mod Podge to make it stiff and put some glitter on it. And it's going to be a crown for one of my little Charlottes. Oh, look how cute. But we're going to, you know, get some Christmassy things going around her, some greenery, maybe some of these little things. Um, it'll come to me. Pine cones. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to decorate these. I quite frankly have no plan and that's sometimes the best way. I mean, yesterday I had no plan and some things went horribly wrong and some things worked awesome. So, yeah, we're going to we're going to have no plan and go after Charlotte. More tart tins. Stay tuned. And as you can see, I have not cleaned up my workspace from yesterday at all. This is definitely a part two. We're picking up where we left off. So like in yesterday's video, I've got a bunch of little bits and bobs, some broken jewelry, some little pieces of lace, and we are going to make the 3D ornaments. First thing I'm going to do is punch holes in it. I want to show you this. So these tins, right? These tart tins. I put the glitter on them, but do you see the yellow in there? What the heck is that? I have no idea why all three of these tart tins turned yellow with this glitter on it. It's interesting. No clue why. It does not appear to be happening in any of the other tart tins. It's a mystery. So I'm going to punch the hole uh, for the string in all of these before we get started. Okay, I have punched the holes in all three of them. You can't really see it, can you? There you go. Punched all the holes in all three of these so that I can hang them and I have to remember what's the top and what's the bottom, not like yesterday. So that's the top. That's the top. This is the top. All right. So I think for one of them, I have these little pieces of greenery. I'm going to cut some smaller so that they fit into the little tart shell here. So that they're sort of a little, little uh, bow for her to stand on. I'm going to crisscross them in here in the bottom. My trusty glue gun is stinking up the room. Oh my god, I couldn't get the smell of the glue out of my nose last night. I kept checking to make sure I had unplugged it. It was off. Just stuck in my nose. I have a feeling that's going to be my whole evening tonight. And I think I want to lay the base down before we move on to any part of gluing Charlotte down. Give that a little flat spot. 
I'm going to put a couple of these in there. And then they came with the little, little red pieces on them. I'm going to tuck a couple of those under there too. I was also doing another Christmas craft, some ornaments that will appear only on my website, www.peonylanedesigns.com. Um, super easy ones that you can even do with your kits. They don't cost much money and you get like a whole tree full of ornaments out of the deal. So don't forget on Tuesday, which is tomorrow, you can head over to peonylanedesigns.com about 10 a.m. and I'll be posting that so you guys can get that one. It's also a really great one to sell because you can buy the pieces and it makes just a ton of them and people go crazy for them. Okay, so now Charlotte's got sort of a Christmassy base to stand on. Maybe I want to put a ribbon in. I don't know. Is that too much? Is the ribbon too much? Let's find out. I have all these ribbons. Maybe I'll put a bow up there. But let's finish building Charlotte's little space here. So I think I'm going to take this one, which is missing the legs. Maybe this is where it just starts to get creative. You just get to start having fun, try and tuck some pieces in, see how that looks. See what I'm saying? Just to use your imagination and go, should I put something on her, around her, over her? I mean, I can put little pieces of gemstones in there. Let's see. I have this one. That looks kind of cute, sort of draped over her. Put some snow in there. Okay, I'm gonna tack her down because I like that. She looks like she's standing up to her knees in snow. Definitely gonna have to deal with these strings, but there she is in all her glory. I'm gonna embellish her a little bit more. Now she is standing in the snow. Charlotte in the snow. I don't know why I keep wanting to drape this over her, so let's just do it. If I keep going back to it and I keep thinking, I want to drape this over her. There's, you know, my brain is probably sending out a signal saying, do it. And you could do this with a little Santa figurine. You could do this with any kind of, I don't know, miniature dolls, dolls for doll houses, things like that. I'm sure there are a million different miniatures you could put in there. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> I like her like that. Um, she's not going to be the one wearing a crown, that's for sure, because she's a little high up. Maybe. Yeah, no, she's too high up. So I'm going to keep picking at it here. She's got a crown now. Hmm. We've got more little gemstones here. it off. Mm, I think I'm just going to plop it right on the center thing. Mm. Plop it. That's just elegant word, Stacy. Plop it. Just plop it on there. I think this one's kind of getting there. I think she might. We're going to call this one done. Let's do the Charlotte with a crown. So let's give, let's give this one a crown. This little Charlotte is in a bed of lace with her crown and a little red bow. Give her a pop of color. And I think, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be it for her. Now we've got two Charlottes, two different ways. Got one to go, guys. Now what are we going to do with you, lonely little Charlotte? So she's actually probably the most intact of the three that I have.
What do I want to do with you? She may be uh, embedded in some pines when I'm done here. I don't know. I think that looks kind of cute. Oh, you know what? I'm actually going to use the earring. I am going to punch a hole in the bottom and hang this off the bottom. Ah! All right, I just used a nail. Punch a hole in the bottom of the tin right there. I'm just going to loop that earring right through there. Oh, like a little bobble off the bottom of it. On a tree that's going to look so cute. Now I kind of want to put some... Um, I've got crystals. <laughs> I think we need to put some hangy bits on a lot of the other ornaments. What do you think? I'm just going to put a bow right over her feet. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think she's looking pretty cute, though. She's looking cute. I think they're all looking pretty sweet. What do you think? <laughs> uh, I don't know why I like that one so much. All right, pros and charlottes, three ways. I'll just have to hang them up now. All right, so there you have it, pros and charlotte, three ways. more tart tin Christmas ornaments. Now these tart tins are fun because you can literally like fill them with the little deer figurines. Like I said, Santa figurines. You can use small dollhouse dolls. You could do a little vi Victorian vignette. You know those Victorian dollhouse dolls that you see, the little miniatures. You could stick them in there and do a little Christmas scene. I mean, you could do a lot of fun things with these. Just use your imagination. <laughs> I have a few tins left. I'm going to end up doing um, some crafting off camera that I'm going to make uh, to sell. And like I said, on the website tomorrow, www.peonylanedesigns.com. Um, there is a tutorial on another uh, Christmas ornament that I make to sell. So it's super easy. It's inexpensive and you can make a lot of them for very little money and they sell like crazy. That's the thing I don't understand sometimes is why some of these things sell. But anyway, <laughs> they do. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, click that little blue button right there because I have more Christmas crafting coming up. There's plenty more crafting to be done. We've got a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. And I may have to combine some. I may have to do like um, four ornaments for a resale or, you know, I don't know. I'm going to have to come up with something because there's a lot. We do have the wood cuts. So if you were on the supply list on my website, that one's coming up. That's going to be a whole separate video because there's a lot to that. And I've never done it before. So... <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't yet gotten one of your happy junkin shirts don't forget to click the link below they make great christmas presents order early because they've been taking a really long time um don't forget too i mean if you're looking for christmas gifts etsy those small business owners that are selling vintage on etsy they're not stuck in a port we're not stuck in port it's going to take us a while to get them shipped to you because the post office and, and UPS are delaying things as much as they possibly can. But, you know, you'll still get your Christmas gifts eventually from us. Uh, I know my husband ordered something like three months ago and it hasn't come yet. So 
just keep that in mind. Shop Etsy, shop small businesses, shop eBay, individual, go to vintage shops. Go, go, go. Support small business this year. And okay, so got the shirts. If you want to send me a thrift flip challenge, speaking of the terrible post office, this is my post office box and it might get to me if you send it there. So send it to the post op PO box and we'll do some flip challenges coming up. I've been plotting. Uh, and if you'd like to buy me a coffee, cause you know, I'm on half a tank. I had four hours of sleep last night. I could really use a coffee right now. Uh, <laughs> it's like Patreon without the monthly commitment and the money from that goes directly back into the channel to give you guys better content. So thanks for watching everyone. Happy Jenkin. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials, and of course, more Junkin' videos.